Hi, this is O.C. Farrell. I'm at the Anderson School of Management, University of New Mexico, Bill Daniels, Professor of Business Ethics. And today, we have Terry Clark with us. Terry is a professor in the College of Business at Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. He's been on the faculty at Notre Dame, uh, Emory, and he received his PhD from Texas A&M University. And he teaches principles of marketing. And today we're going to talk to him about how do you integrate ethics into a core course like marketing. But I have an idea that some of his comments would relate to any core area such as management or finance or accounting because sometimes professors are asking questions about well should you cover ethics in these core uh, courses that we have, find in most uh, colleges of business. So Terry, uh, tell us how you cover ethics in principles of marketing. Good question. Um, I think as, as I approach ethics in, in the principles course, I, I, I feel I have two challenges. One, most of the students in my class are not business majors, and uh, they're, they're mass comm majors and uh, ag majors who take principles as a requirement. And a lot of them, I feel, come into the class with a cynical attitude towards marketing and in general. They, they, they're a little bit uh, self-righteous. They think uh, everyone in their discipline is upright and you know does the right thing and that, but that marketing people don't. And so as I, as I approach the issue of uh, business ethics and ethics in marketing, I feel I have to address two things. One, the issue per se, that is, how can marketers, is it possible for marketers to be ethical and act ethically and what are the, what's the vocabulary of ethics and so on. And two, I feel uh, I need to uh, impress upon the non-business, non-marketing majors that uh, the issues we talk about in marketing are equally applicable to them. So this is the approach I have in principles. Rather than, a, uh, rather than a, a, a attack ethics sort of pedagogically head on, uh, I, be, I begin by defining the terms uh, morality, ethics, uh, legal compliance, and so on. And then I switch uh, uh, to a series of uh, ads to address ethical issues in marketing. So I look at, for example, ads that clearly use puffing, exaggeration, and uh, um, uh, turn it to the class for a conversation. I, is it allowable uh, to do that? Uh, you know, we all do it in life. We, we say a child is the you know, best looking kid on the planet and do we really mean it? Uh, well, yes and no. And I, I look at things like stereotyping in ads. I look at things like uh, uh, gender bias in ads. And with each ad I put up, we turn to the class and have a conversation. And out of that conversation, I try to draw uh, some of the elements of uh, what what we mean by uh, ethical behavior and so on. At the end of that discussion, I love to turn to the non-marketing majors and um, I have a series of slides and um, I sort of uh, uh, just uh, take it on the chin and, and acknowledge that there is unethical behavior in marketing and you often hear a sigh of relief from the, the engineers and the mass comm majors and sort of an attitude that, yeah, yeah, we know that. But then I have a series of slides, for example, a bridge collapse, uh, collapsing, and, uh, and I say, you know, if, if, if uh, you don't blame me for all of the unethical and bad behavior in marketing, I won't blame you engineers for all the bad engineering out there. I have a, a, a picture of a, a really bad building, a, a terrible, terribly designed, and I, and I go on this, you know, I go through the litany. If, if uh, you don't blame me for all the bad marketing out there, I won't blame you for all the bad architecture, bad movies, bad books, bad journalism, bad doctoring, bad teaching, and so on. And I think it's a fair point, and I think in the class it helps them understand they come into the class feeling that it's sort of a no-brainer that marketing folks are unethical. Everybody knows that, right? Duh. And, and so I try to make the point that no, it's, it, well, it's true, but it's true to the same degree it's true in any other discipline. Uh, it's a propensity of human nature, uh, I would think, to, uh, to be tempted to be unethical. And so if, if I can make the point that we're all sort of in a place of moral hazard, whether we're engineers or movie makers or novelists, a journal, I love to uh, get the journalists in particular. My slide has a copy of the National Enquirer with uh, Hillary Clinton being abducted by aliens. And, and I love to say, if you don't blame me for all the bad marketing, I won't blame you for all the bad uh, journalism. And it's, it's true. And, and you know, when you look at it that way, it's, it's, 
Ethics is clearly a fundamental human issue first for all of us before we enter a profession and then after we enter a profession it becomes a professional concern um, you know to, to, to act rightly and, and honestly and straightforwardly and so forth and to the degree marketers don't do that or fail to do that uh, we are not unique it's just that we're more prominent I think and therefore catch more flack because of it. Terry, while we can teach certain principles and of course hope that our students apply those to marketing situations, uh, principles such as integ integrity, honesty, uh, transparency, which we all cover, mm -hmm. on the other hand, you just really made it an important point that sometimes when we try to teach marketing ethics or business ethics, people want to hold us to a much higher standard than when we teach accounting or finance or just marketing. And of course I've often said um, there it's no different because not all the people we teach marketing or finance to can are good at that when right. we finish. We're always going to have some people that are going to make ethical mistakes and sometimes intentionally. Right. So how would you answer those people who said you can't teach ethics in a course because it might not work or you know, you can't guarantee that they're going to be ethical after you teach that content. Right. Well, I think I'd have to say that I don't believe you can guarantee they'll be ethical after that. However, you can equip their minds with the vocabulary of ethics, and uh, when they get that first job, they're going to enter a culture, and that culture will have, will have uh, an ethical element to it. And I think um, that uh, the, the ethical vocabulary we provide them and the examples we provide them, and by the way, above and beyond mere pedagogy, merely teaching them what words mean, I think uh, to provide some sterling examples uh, in class of people uh, who, who've done the right thing, sort of mini bios, uh, 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 who've done the right thing, and, and people who've done the wrong thing. I think uh, as human beings, that sort of thing appeals to us. Uh, we, we all have uh, heroes and heroines in our lives, and I think it's a good thing to supply them with uh, a, a, a stable of uh, you know business people who act ethically, who who uh, go beyond, and maybe even swim a bit a bit against the stream um, as they do so. Hey, thanks, Terry. We really appreciate you being with us, and I think a lot of the insights that you provided uh, would apply not only to a principles of marketing class but to an accounting class. Uh, you've got to integrate it with subject matter area. And we'll let the business ethics course maybe deal more with the theory and the frameworks, but we relate it to our content. Yes. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Okay, goodbye.